Is it on the wrong channel? <clears throat> oh, just making sure you're paying attention. Shortland Street has always been an early adapter, a leader in its field, and as such, we believe we are best placed to develop a two-tiered health system. We've looked at other countries that have implemented similar systems, and we're confident that public and private services can be integrated without negatively impacting on quality of care. Both sectors would share staff and theatres, which immediately cuts costs by economising on our most valuable resources. Which means we won't be obliged to offer staff sweeteners, such as gym memberships or paid health insurance, like other private hospitals do. Meanwhile, private patients will receive an unrivalled level of service. Hotel standard rooms, gourmet meals... And, of course, a shorter waiting time to get to someone like me. <laughs> someone like you. We already have a large number of patients requesting Dr Warner specifically. Which, unfortunately, on the public list, we cannot guarantee. But once the private sector is established within Shorten Street, we can. So we have demand and reputation. We'd be steps ahead of any other private hospital in this country. Go on. Oh, cheer up, Gimpy. A new desk and you'll be a new man. Yeah, right. I heard Callum say that the hospital's preparing to slash backroom and support costs. It sounds like my desk. You didn't even ask. How are we, guys? <clears throat> Fighting fit, and you? Can't complain as long as there is a savoury muffin left. And how are you feeling today, Gerald? Oh, for goodness sake. Gerald is getting all bent out of shape because his workstation won't adjust to his height. I, I, I tried to tell you. When? This morning, when I was explaining the importance of ergonomic exercises. You don't think I need a new desk might have worked better? Well, he does. This is a clear-cut health and safety issue, so don't even try calling it a backroom cost. OK. Uh, well, cost out some options for me, Gerald, and I'll see what I can do. Really? Really? And now, call off Brooke. <laughs> Heel. <laughs> Shouldn't you be in class? I am. We're on the study period. Then get studying, eh? Jasmine. Go away. No, wait. I just want to say I'm real sorry about what I said before. Whatever. I'm serious. I thought about it and it was pretty sent to say those things. It's tough being a teenager sometimes, eh? What are you talking about? It's just, I know some people have a hard time growing up. You're weird. Have a nice day. It's probably picked up one of your textbooks. Can you open your folder, please? What's that doing in there? No need to be embarrassed. We can issue it for you. No, I don't want it. Perfectly natural curiosity. <laughs> no worry. Are you going to the meatball? Wouldn't miss it. You're friends with Vasa, aren't you? We get along. Why? How would you feel about trying her again for a shift swap? You could say that something came up and that you switched with me this afternoon. Otherwise, I might cry. OK, I'll have to see if I can organise a sitter. Aren't they old enough to fend for themselves? Well, yes, but I don't trust even as far as I can throw them. <laughs> well, my friend Lynette could probably take them. Vasa won't mind just one swap. Actually, I do mind. While I'm prepared to make exceptions for genuine reasons, your netball game simply doesn't qualify. End of story? It's going to take two of us to get Mr McGregor to the bathroom if he breaks over. Sure. Mm. Careful. The wind might change. So? I'm already in debt and fun deprived. I may as well be funny looking. Let's start planning a party now for when the debt's paid off. What? When I'm 80? It's a bit hard to dance with a Zimmer frame. <sighs> you should be looking after her. I have been trying, but she hasn't been in the mode lately. La 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 la! Oh, I thought you meant. I meant that she needs some pampering, some romance, but I do not need details, alright? 
Well, you don't want to know how da, I la, get la, it off. La, 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 la. Uh, what's going on? Your new vest, mate. <laughs> uh, hang on. Did... Excellent, it's here. Have you taken it for a spin yet? I only just got the brochures. I had my eye on a charred oak melamine top with chrome rondola legs. <laughs> it's a desk, Gerald, not a fashion parade. We're going to have to take it back. The, 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 the scratched. Look. <laughs> well, it's not new. <clears throat> what? Do you mean it's second hand? Yeah. Cyril from accounts is leaving. He's roughly your height and his replacement is Libby's size. So I did a direct swap. How lucky is that? So, while we'll continue to provide the same services, the patient will now be able to make the choice that best suits them. And with DHB support, we're confident that the project will be a success. Thank you. I must say I'm impressed. Unfortunately, the DHB won't go for those numbers. I know they're a tad on the high side. But it's an investment. With the private sector earning more money for the hospital, it's guaranteed to pay off in the long run. We just can't take the risk at the moment. If you can trim the budget, We'll talk again. Trim the budget. What, with a chainsaw? Hey, we're just gonna have to keep working on it. Which wouldn't be all bad, would it? Hi. How did it go? He said it cost too much. Surprise, surprise. Well, don't beat yourself up. You did your best. She was amazing. And that's not an end to it. Nugent applied as much. Rachel and I have a lot more talking to do. I'd better get back to it. How about some lunch? Uh, you need to wind down after that. Uh, I want to make some notes while they're fresh. You know, Chris is right. You are amazing. How about I uh, bring some lunch to your desk? Deal? Deal. Good. <laughs> 